So we're asked just to locate the centroid of the shape that we've been given. So looking at this shape to start off with, we can see that it's quite simple. And if we wanted to, we could break it down to even simpler shapes for which we're able to easily calculate the centroid of. So at the moment it's a trapezoid, but if I drop a line that goes straight through here, what I've done is I've divided it into a rectangle and a triangle, which are super easy shapes to deal with in terms of the centroid. So I need both the x and the y coordinate of the centroid. So I'm going to write out both of the equations that I need to apply, and then I'll work on getting the information to fill them. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to look for is the xi and the yi. So these are the centroids of the individual parts that make up the bigger shape. So we've got two different shapes, which means that we're going to have two different centroids that we need to find. So let's start with the rectangle one. That one's pretty easy. We know that it sits at the center. So I'll bring this down here, I'll call it x1, y1. And we should be able to measure where that is. And I'm going to reference everything to the origin, which sits back here. So we know for a rectangle that the centroid sits halfway from either end. So halfway here is going to be half of 9, which is 4.5. And halfway up is going to be half of 2, which is 1. So this point here sits 4.5 across and 1 up. Now we also need to do it for the other shape that makes up our, our bigger one. So I guess it's here. And this is x2, y2. And the rule for um, right-angled triangles is that your centroid sits one-third of that right-angled corner in both of the directions. So what we can say is that this distance in here to this centroid is going to be one-third of this length. Okay, So if this is 9 centimeters, this is going to be a third of it, which is 3. Similarly, if we want to measure this in here, it's going to be one-third of the height of the triangle. So one-third of 6 is the same as 2 centimeters. Okay, so now we just need to reference it back to the origin. So for the x coordinate, we need to go this far across, which is the same as the 3 centimeters we already wrote down. For the y coordinate, though, starting at the origin, we need to go up 2 centimeters and then up again a little bit in order to reach the one third mark. So it's going to be this 2 centimeters plus the 2 centimeters in here, which is 4. So that's our two different centroids. The other thing that we need is these areas, which I've called AI. So we've got two different parts that we split this into, so we need to find A1 and A2. So if we start with the first one, this is my shape 1, maybe I should have labelled them 1 and 2. So for this first one, it's going to be the area of the rectangle that it is. So area of a rectangle is length times height. So it's going to be 9 centimetres multiplied by 2, which is 18. For the other one, we have to find the area of the triangle. So that's a half times the base of the triangle, which is 9 centimetres, times by its perpendicular height, which is 6. So this one here uh, works out to be 27 centimetres squared. So now we should be able to go ahead and apply our two different equations. So we'll start with the x coordinate. So it's going to be equal to the x times a for each of the different um, components. So if we start with the first one down here, our rectangle, x1 we said was equal to 4.5. And a1 we said was 18. We need to add that to the area, uh, sorry, the x value which uh, came out to 3 for the second shape, and the area for the second shape, which came out to 27. Let's move this across. So on the bottom line of our equation, we need the total area. So that's going to be this 18 plus the 27. So we can calculate this, and it works out to be 3.6 centimetres. So now we just need to work on the y coordinate. So again, same principle, we have two different shapes, so that means we're going to need two different um, things that go in this sum. So we'll start with y1, which worked out to be 1. 
multiplied by A1, um, which came to be 18. Plus, we need Y2, which worked out to be 4. And the area, which worked out to be 27. We then need to divide by the total area, which again is going to be 18 plus 27. And we end up with a Y coordinate, which is 2.8 centimetres. So if you go back over here and look at where that kind of lies uh, in relation to our shape. So we're measuring from the origin over here. So we're at a distance of 3.6 this way. So it's just over a third of the way and to the right and then 2.8 for the height. So I'm going to guess that uh, it's like somewhere in here is where our centroid actually sits. So this is X bar, Y bar. And that's the, the coordinates of it. So that's all there is for this question, and uh, I'll see you in another video.